Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. December 30, 2019, the j is missing issue. First up, from the Houston Chronicle, there were more than 1,500 complaints of unwanted sexual approaches uh, at Apple stores. These were made against social networking apps in the App Store, uh, in contrast to where Apple says is it predominantly markets a safe and trusted workplace. The complaints about the popular social media platforms uh, that connect strangers in video conversations, known as random chat apps, serve as digital cries for help. The um, main complaints were against, uh, or rather, were about unwanted sexual advances against children. Next up in our lead story from Bloomberg, Malaysia is lacking foreign help as it hunts for J-Lo. Malaysia police are having trouble getting foreign counterparts to help in the search for J-Lo, the alleged mastermind behind the 1MDB scandal. He said that countries have lacked sincerity to cooperate, even denying their pres- Lowe's presence in their jurisdictions, despite Malaysian intelligence indicating otherwise. Police uh, want to bring him back to stand trial in Malaysia. Of course, uh, he is rumored to be in uh, China, and the United States <clears throat> recently struck a deal with him to return almost $1 billion in assets uh, to the United States. Next up from the Washington Post, uh, a couple of years ago, Eli Lilly was in uh, big trouble for jacking up the price of insulin for no reason. Indeed, uh, having a 250% increase over a 10-year span with no, uh, despite the fact it was a century-old invention. The three largest manufacturers were accused of excessively pricing their drugs. Of course, this led to uh, disastrous results for those patients who couldn't pay. Lilly then said it would... Um, bring out an authorized generic of the drug, which would cost some 50% less than the drug. But when uh, Elizabeth Warren and Richard Blumenthal's staffs checked, they found that uh, the Lilly was uh, barely uh, releasing the product for sale, and indeed only 17% of the pharmacies had the product. So um, once again, uh, this will be a national flashpoint in the uh, debate over prescription ju- drugs as the Republican Congress continues to want these prices jacked up to protect uh, pharmaceutical companies and doesn't seem to understand that people are just really not happy with this issue anymore. And finally, uh, if you didn't know, uh, let me tell you that January 1, the California Consumer Privacy Fa- uh, Act goes into effect. And if you didn't know it, and you do business in California or you have a business that is under the jurisdiction of this law, you're way behind the uh, curve, but you better get up uh, pretty quickly. As this statute was standardized, meant to standardize how much companies disclose about their data mining practice and that um, what uh, they can release around personal information. So uh, you need to take a look at this if you haven't engaged counsel to do so. I would uh, urge you to do so. The uh, penalties, uh, although low, will, can add up very quickly. Most importantly about the California law, since our do-nothing Congress doesn't seem to be able to do anything around data privacy or data protection, uh, the California law has really become the national standard. And employers uh, generally don't want this, but since uh, Congress has done nothing, uh, we may now be moving towards having uh, 50 seconds different standards around this uh, issue going forward. As we move towards the end of this year and indeed the decade, I want to wish you a very happy and safe New Year's from the Daily Compliance News. Thanks for listening.